I'm 715. Call me to order. 615. 615. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to yeah, get it. 715. Uh, <laughs> Name's over. <laughs> Motion to <adjourn. laughs> Uh, Dale Berger is here to talk about street lighting. He'll be the first to uh, address it. That's it, huh? Okay. Dale, it's all yours. We're ready to go. <laughs> all right, this is actually pretty simple. Ray, I'm glad is here because he knows solar probably better than I do, but who knows? He knows it pretty well. But things have changed. Everybody knows solar, everybody knows LED. It's all going to go LED. We've done most of the town. We've got some more to do. Most of it I've done. I've been in the electronics business for over 40 years. But things are changing. Ray will tell you he has solar at his house, but he doesn't use it. It strictly goes back and gets sold back to National Grid. What's changing is the batteries, which would make Ray's usable. Um, in, since 2009, battery storage has gone up 60%. The cost has come down 50%. <laughs> the batteries that I'm using right now are from Tesla, which is soon going to be a local company. Okay, Everything else is made in China, but so is everybody else's. Solar City stuff's made in China, and they're going to put it together over here. Um, but along those lines, I mean, I don't think I need to say much about solar because we all know where, where it's going. <clears throat> the biggest thing is that Grand Island, whether you know it or not, pays about $24,000 a month for street lighting. All right? Each light, there's 594 lights on the island. Uh, some of them are in subdivisions, and the subdivisions pay for their own, okay? And it's just a monthly allocation. Um, there are 211 that National Grid gave us a list of, uh, Cindy um, and uh, Nate and I met with National Grid, and there's 211 what they call cobra heads at intersections and such now. And those are costing somewhere $50, $60 a month. Um, and then on top of that, what we did found, find out is you've actually leased these, right? And they're willing to let you buy out the lease but it's like an apartment. You won't get any, anything out of it. They get the apartment back, all right? But they will put up LEDs, and then they'll start the lease all over again. <coughs> the lease is 60 years, all right? I was not aware of this. I don't think anybody was aware of this. But my idea, I've been <coughs> up four years now working on uh, a solar light that I think would replace some of this, and originally it didn't start with street lights. It started with parking lot lights, and I'm still going on those. But I can take a 65-watt LED light and put it out here and replace any of these um, high-pressure sodium yellow lights that National Grid has, all right? And I don't need a 60-year lease. We can do it in five years, and a town can own their lights. All right, pay me exactly what you're paying, 50 bucks a month. You know, we're just, I'm just uh, spitballing this right now. But it's about $50 a month. Pay me for the lights, um, then you own them. And there's still another five-year warranty. So, in other words, this would drop the cost to the town, to the taxpayer, whatever, in half. It would drop everything in half, which is kind of hard to find anything that does that these days. Um, Nate was talking about he wants some lights along Green Island Boulevard, which I think is a great idea. It should have been done a long time ago. Main Street USA should have it. But uh, So that would be on top of it, too. But there's also subdivisions. There's a new one. I think Kinney's are putting in a new one, and I talked to them. And if you look at the back of this, you'll see a light. I just did a quick picture of a light that would work very well in the neighborhood. Um, and it's the same thing with the same light. And that's what they would be. They'd be solar lights. Solar lights. Not just LEDs. Not just LEDs. And we'd own them after five years. Five years. Paying the same rate that we're currently paying. So there would really be no incremental increase in price? No incremental. <coughs> I, my company would have to replace the batteries as it stands right this moment. 
somewhere between the seventh and eighth year. Okay, not sure where exactly. I may even just replace them after six and be done with it, and then I don't have to worry about it. But all that's priced in. There is no extra. There is no anything. I mean, we got to work out insurance. We got to work out all kinds of little things. But it's it's something that the town can do to look forward, not look back. Um, National Grid. The guy sat there and told us, "Am I right?" He said, "We're not. We don't make any money on this." And I'm, Right. Kind of scoff at the time, yeah, right. but anyways, the uh, um, but it, it works. It works very well. I have uh, the manufacturers are behind me. I have a ten-year warranty on the light. We have twenty-five on the panel, okay, which is the standard. What they do with solar panels, the battery was the stickler, but I do have it priced in for ten years. Do Do you know where any of these types of lights are installed anywhere? Is it within the 20 or 30 miles of here? Um, well, there's one at my partner's house on Love Road. It's the only one I know of right yet. Oh, so we could actually I, just look at and you could kind be, of the illumination is really yes, the concern. Yes, you could. I'm talking about a 65 watt. He has, at, we put in a 40 watt. It's been there for over a year. The other part that we did, <clears throat> the one that he has, you got the light and then the solar panel is on the top of the light. And actually, in order for solar panels to work the best, they should be facing south. We have this one facing west, and it's working fine. Okay, uh, but yes, I mean, I, I could even disconnect that very easily and bring it in and show it to you. It's not. Do you think the illumination is about equivalent to what we currently have? I think it's more. Right. I think it's a lot more. You can count on, with LEDs, you can count on, I count on, replacing 70% of the power every time I do it. Okay. Most of our lights on the island are 150, maybe 175. So you'd be less than 60 to replace it at, uh, at that percentage. And I'm saying put a 65 <clears throat> in there. I don't think you need more. Um, and this is also new poles. Okay, it's all figured out. I don't want to mess with National Grid and their poles or any of this. We'll go across the street and we'll go wherever. We're going to need some cooperation maybe on cutting of trees or whatever in a couple spots, but we've looked at 100% of this, and I don't see too many problems, I can tell you that. Uh, but we'll put up the poles, we'll put up the lights, and go. You know when our lease with Tiger National Grid is over? With the lights we're talking about, the with, 211? With, with what we're doing right now, yeah. Um, the 211, the, the intersection lights. They want $190.50 on average for all the lights with a list they gave us. That'll buy out the lease. How much? $190.50 per, 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 right, that's the pole, the it's arm. It's the whole thing, it's not the individuals? That, no, that's that's the whole, each pole. Okay. Each pole. So you got about $40,000 we need to do, <coughs> and we're going to have to work that out. Somehow or another it needs to be worked out. Because I know National Grid, I work with them every day, um, they're going to want their money. They don't even want to hear about it. It may take them 10 years to take their lights down. That's the actual grid, so. And where does the battery go in these units? Uh, the battery will go right in the light. In the light itself. It, the funny part is these batteries, as I said, they've come a long ways. <laughs> the batteries I'm using are like C batteries. And there's four of them in each light. And it's amazing what they'll do. And it's Tesla. So, so who's doing it? So we have all this information that you gave us here. Mm -hmm. We're going to own the lights. The we're going to own the poles, we're going to own the lights, right. we're going to own everything. Right. So, no doubt there'd have to be some type of a maintenance contract, because if there's a... you got a 10-year warranty. Something, well, if somebody knocks a pole over... That's why I said we need to work out insurance, need, I don't know how we, any of that... We, we need to figure out, after the 10-year warranty, if a light blows, if the battery goes, if the solar panel doesn't work anymore, right. there's a cost to that. Right. So we need to kind of... Right, well that all needs to be dialed out. in. Right. The first step is, does it make sense? Well, I, I would, I would say this. We we want. You could take a look at the ones on the Love Road. I've seen that one. They're pretty good. There's ones in parking lots you can look at. Right. They, they, they might be somewhere. I like personally have always liked the idea of lighting up our business district, and I'm wondering if we could find enough money to have Dale put a test section of lights up. 
business district. Probably a good idea before we replace existing lights, at least test it for a year, let's say, or something. Well, maybe not even a year, but I mean, especially if, if we test it during the winter. Yeah, that's going to be the worst time. Worst case, there's going to be snow on top of it. There's going to be less sunlight. Um, the whole business. Yeah. So I would think that 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 might be a, a way to look at it. And then, in addition to that, some obscure intersection. I'll just pick. I got a perfect fix, spot. Fix I, love to do. Okay. I got a perfect spot. Right in front of my house is a light, and then right across the street at the baseball diamond is another light. They call it 1674 and 1674R is what they call it. And supposedly they told us these were only street lights. Um, there was none of this. But anyways, it is part of it. And I mean if you right in front of my house I could be watching this, I could get bored with watching it. But uh, you know the other thing you gotta remember. <coughs> the lights that you're looking at with your street lights, and you never looked at them, they're just there. They're like 2000K color. They're yellow. Okay, they're high pressure sodium. The ones we would put in would be 5000K. All right, the new ones out here in the hallway are four, so it'd be even lighter. And 6000K is what we use in ice rinks, and it's like blue. All right, so you don't want to go any higher. But uh, it works, and it works. Uh, it works extremely well. The lights that you're talking about putting in, you say they're made in China. Do they make the lights here anywhere in the U.S.? No. They only make them in China. I have my my whole career is based on selling things that were made in the U.S. whenever possible. Um, nobody makes any LEDs. Is there any difference in quality from? Not with the way I'm doing it. I got. I, I work, used to work for a company called Rockford Fosgate, okay, in Arizona, and we sourced some things. Some things we made in Arizona, and the guy who did the sourcing, his name is Ken Koga, and he's here and he's over in China, but he only the best. And what, whether you know it or not, the hardest thing in China is to find the factory. There's a thousand guys that say, okay, I, I am this company, but they're not. you got to get to the company, and that's what Ken does, and that's how I have the ability to get the price we need to do this, too. Is there more than one company that you buy from, or do you all Well, I've sourced from quite a few, but i got to source poles, and i got to source lights. There's only one company I want to source the lights from. Mm -hmm. and, and you've sold some of those lights already in this mm -hmm. area? Mm -hmm. Most of it is the intensity of the bright white or the blue, or, or is it, it, the higher you go, the bluer it gets. Right? right, right. So the medium to warm um, yellow is really around 3200? 3200. 32.4. 32.4. Yeah. Yeah. 27. It's yeah, funny because, it, and you don't know, you don't see it, but you'll walk into tops and there's like five different color temperatures on all the lights in there. If they put 5K over lettuce, it looks like crap. Or over the meat, right. it looks bad. Okay, but if you put it by the uh, uh, Twinkies, it looks great. So they're constantly playing with it. So, Bill, um, as far as longevity, like, do, is there definite proof somehow that we could obtain, or some data to show that they're just as good, or pretty close to as good today as in ten years from today? Oh, no doubt. Yeah. Uh, no doubt. The original LED light that was lit was lit in 1972. It's still light. Yeah, I'm not worried no, no. about the solar. Right. Oh, the solar will raise my, he can vouch for the fact, you've got 25 warranty on your, on your uh, roof. Okay, the solar is going to last. The weak spot is the battery. And as I said, I got that worked in to change that. How about in terms of like a bad hailstorm? Are they pretty durable in that yeah. regard? They're they, not. They, they can withstand it. They're warranted. Yeah. They're warranted. Yeah. Okay. So the I ten, don't. Yeah, that's true. The ten-year warranty would cover a hailstorm. Right. Thing. It would. It would cover anything. I mean, again, we're going to have to figure out who's insuring this, who's doing what. Right. Um, I don't know how that works. I don't know who's insuring them now. Um, all this needs to be worked out. There's going to have to be some lawyers involved. But uh, um, at some point, I just need to know you guys want to go ahead, you know, and even to hang two dozen along the boulevard, we're going to need 
to figure all of this out. Um, but I don't see any problem with it at all. So really it sounds like there's a long, a short term investment which is about equivalent to what we're currently paying, but a long term gain if we suddenly don't have to pay for those on a monthly basis. Right. Yep. Right. Well I already know what the town's going to do. Instead of going and paying for five years, they're going to want to pay half of what we're talking about for 10 years. Because you're not going to be able to go to the tax payers and say, okay, we got this, we're going to pay for five years and then we got five years off, so we'll adjust things then. That isn't going to work. So um, I obviously have to get some banks involved, and I've already discussed this with them. And they've said that no problem. All they need from anybody is a uh, PO we can work it out, work the financing or whatever out. It's not a big deal. So you're saying, just so I clarify this, uh, the town would have to buy the poles. Mm -hmm. Hmm? The whole thing. Yeah, but you can't just stick them up on the poles. You have to buy the poles from National Grid and then buy the lights. So well, the lights the are, you're, you're going to pay me monthly for the lights. Right. You're not, you're, you have no cash outlay up front on that. Um, as far as the polls, we're going to have to work that out. I think I got it <coughs> worked in. Until I bring in my first container, guys, there's some things here that you know, could set me back. But if it doesn't, we're fine. Um, and I think from what we found out with the meeting, this $190 they want is pretty inexpensive compared to what they did want. But if you do a new subdivision, then we'd have to put Poles up ourselves. We, we would put that, be, it'd be the same thing. Just add, you know, that the uh, uh, subdivision would pay you the 50 bucks or how much you want. And we go in and put the poles up. National Grid would not be involved. That's a simple one. Um, and they, like when I talk What's to the kids. the cost of actually putting a, a pole up? The National Grid, I mean, these are old poles they're just getting rid of. But I mean, to put a new pole up, I would think it was a different price. I would think so. I think that probably the answer to that, the best answer to that, would be to find out the last lighting district that was actually installed, not created. We created a lighting district, but I don't think right, there's right, any lights right. there. I'm not yeah, sure. There might be. Yeah. So I think the idea is to find out from Stickle, Ryan, whomever has put in their lights, the National Grid. Is charging them. Now, I don't know if National Grid. National Grid did. National Grid puts the poles in, no, puts the electricity in, puts the poles in, puts the light on them, and then says, "Here's what it costs you." A month. And then it's a pass through for us. You know, we collect that and then the lighting district and we just pay it. But National Grid actually. But National Grid actually. The cost so you, would, you would know. You know, we've been working on. There were three sections of the island. Two are together, and then there's one that had gas lights yet yeah. that weren't working and everything else. I mean, I and we dissolved those districts yeah. with the idea that the people would then pay to have new electric lights. Well, National Grid came in with some unbelievable, ridiculous amount of money. Thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars to, to put these new lights in. And we haven't gone anywhere since then because if we approach the people, the people are going, are you nuts? Yeah, they want We're, you're, you're telling us because it's a lighting district in our neighborhood, we have to pay all of that? Yeah. They, Where are they, the lights? They want a lot of money to put poles up. And this, this can solve all of this, number one. But number two, you, you, we can't solve all the island at once because of this lease thing that you sign every time they put in a pole. <coughs> but the old poles along baseline and down all the different streets at the corners, that's basically where they are. Um, we can solve that immediately. So you're looking at a project that is in phases? Oh, yeah. yeah. But we could do all the, what you might call, street lights. The right. intersection lights and lights that are right. not necessarily an intersection, they just light things because right. they're there's, there. There's 211, if I remember right. correctly. Mm -hmm. and, and 
keep looking at Cindy. She's younger. And, kind of and we were, and we were, well, we were working around that inventory. Remember, right? Back a while ago, and we had that inventory right. figured out. And, we, and, we, have it. and well, I have it. Yeah. And we went through it, and the traffic safety advisory board helped with it. We identified some lights that are questionable. Should they be there? Should they not be there? And things were being charged for that we shouldn't be charged for. And we gave that information to National Grid. And they didn't do anything with it. Well, they, they got. Uh, they're, they're paying for three thousand watt. Street lights on Grand Island. There's one down, down by Burger King, right over the bus stop. Okay, if that's given 12 foot candles on the ground these days, that's a lot. It's way past degradation. There's one on the corner of Fix and Baseline that's not even there <laughs> that you're paying monthly for. I should say we're paying monthly for. And then there's one that is the brightest light in the world is right in front of. The entrance to Fantasy Island, and that is uh, that one is right up to snuff. I can go out in the middle of the road and get thirty eight foot candles. Out some of the conversation of that was, is that really the town's responsibility? To be paying a tremendous amount of money for a light that serves as a business. The one in front of Fantasy Island. Or the one in front of anywhere. Okay. That's not an intersection light. Or the, like the new ones that we put up at the school along Ransom Road, there's a whole bunch of them there now across from the school right. because that was dark and kids were coming from the road and stuff like that. We wanted to light it up, so we so, paid new ones. So, in in theory, every um, every eight region has a lighting district, and everybody's sharing for the cost in that in that district area, like River Oaks uh, area would pay for all the street lights and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. No, if, if, if you look at the bill, we get a bill. From National Grid, that you pay for the pole, yep. you pay for the arm, 